Baldur's Gate 3 has well over 600 spells and spell effects. In this video series, I will be ranking the top 10 spells for each and every spell level, so make sure you leave a like and you're subscribed so you don't miss an episode. This is the 6th video in the series, so make sure you check out the Gaming Analytics channel page to ensure you pick the absolute best spells for your BG3 build. Now with that out of the way, let's get nerdy. In at 10th place is the evocation spell Cone of Cold, which is available to the Sorcerer, Wizard and Fiend Warlock, as well as the Bard via Magical Secrets at level 10. Cone of Cold summons forth a freezing vortex engulfing an area of 30 feet in a blast of icy wind, inflicting 8d8 cold damage to all caught within the spell's effect which fail a constitution saving throw, and of course half as much on a successful one. Of course the added benefit here is that it freezes all liquid surfaces that the spell touches, resulting in a slippery icy surface that can halve movement speed as well as force enemies to make a dexterity saving throw or slip and fall prone on the icy surface. In at 9th place overall from the school of enchantment is Dominate Person. Dominate Person is a widely available spell and can be picked up by the Bard, Sorcerer, Wizard, Archfey and Great Old One Warlock as well as the Trickery and Knowledge Domain Cleric. Those who invoke the Dominate Person spell cast a bewitching aura that envelops the target, eroding their willpower and their ability to distinguish friend from foe. Upon a failed save, the target turns on its previous allies, compelled to fight by your side for a duration of 10 turns whilst under the spell's beguiling influence. The downside of Dominate Person is that the humanoid target can repeat its saving throw each time it takes damage, so take extra care when casting in selecting your target. In at 8th place from the School of Illusion is Seeming, available to the Bard, Sorcerer, Wizard, Archfey, Warlock and Trickery Domain Cleric, Seeming allows you to disguise up to 4 members of your party as other humanoids opening up additional gameplay options to crawl through smaller spaces, disguising your party as members of another race, opening up additional dialogue options, and also has an interesting interaction with the Speak with a Dead spell with enemies that you have recently murdered. Next up at number 7 from the Abjuration School of Magic is Planar Binding. Planar Binding is available to the Bard, Cleric, Druid and Wizard and is essentially a souped up version of Dominate Person allowing you to control Celestial, Elemental, Fey or Fiend and persuade them to fight by your side on a failed wisdom save for 10 turns and is especially useful for Baldur's Gate 3 as you are going to be fighting a number of Fiends during your adventure. Unfortunately however, similar to the Dominate Person spell the Wisdom Saving Throw can be made each time the target takes damage, so make sure you choose a target that is not necessarily fighting in the front line if possible. Next up at number 6 is Artistry of War, which can only be obtained and prepared on a permanent basis by Wizards after scribing the Scroll of Artistry of War found within the Red Knight's final stratagem. Upon casting the Artistry of War spell, you summon forth six master strategists, each of which attack your foes, dealing 2d6 plus 6 force damage, for a possible total damage output potential of between 48 and 108 points of damage. Next up in fifth place from the School of Conjuration is Conjure Elemental, and is available to the Wizard and Druid as well as the Bard via Magical Secrets. The Circles of the Land Druid, who choose the Coast or Mountain biome, also has this spell prepared at level 9, whereas Warlocks can also gain access to Conjure Elemental if they choose the Eldritch Invocation Minions of Chaos at level 9. Conjure Elemental summons forth a being of air, earth, fire or water to fight by your side, each of which has a number of unique spells and abilities at their disposal. In 4th place from the School of Abjuration and available to the Bard Cleric Druid and Life Domain Cleric as well as the Circle of the Lands Druid who choose the Coast or Grassland Biome 
is Greater Restoration. In essence, the Greater Restoration spell allows the caster to remove the Charm, Petrification, Stun or Curse status effect afflicting one of your party members. And the use of Greater Restoration applies mainly in combat situations, allowing you to remove one of these ailing effects and have your party function at maximum efficiency. In at third place overall, from the School of Enchantment is the ever-powerful Hold Monster. Available to the Bard, Sorcerer, Warlock, Wizard and War Domain Cleric, Hold Monster paralyzes and incapacitates any creature which fails a Wisdom saving throw for a duration of 10 turns. This incapacitated creature is unable to move, act or react and all melee attacks within a range of 3 meters or 10 feet is always a critical hit. Hold Monster is extremely useful when focusing fire on a powerful enemy, allowing you to deal maximum damage in a very short period of time. Furthermore, paralyzed creatures also automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws, allowing the strategically minded to set up other spells and abilities for maximum effect. In at number 2 is the ever-powerful battlefield control spell from the Evocation School of Magic, Wall of Stone. Wall of Stone is available to the Druid Sorcerer Wizard and Nature Domain Cleric, as well as the Bard via Magical Secrets and the Circle of the Lands Druid who choose the Desert or Mountain Biome at level 9. And in essence creates a barrier that can be conjured between two points within the effective range, providing there exists an unobstructed path connecting them. This barrier consists of sturdy stone pillars, each possessing 30 hit points, and are impervious to psychic damage but susceptible to force and thunder damage. These pillars serve as an obstruction, blocking movement and line of sight making Wall of Stone extremely useful to cordon off the battlefield, allowing a patient party to segregate certain enemies off from others, as well as negate possible damage received from range attacks and spells. And at number 1 from the Transmutation School of Magic is Telekinesis. Telekinesis is available to the Sorcerer, Wizard, Great Old One Warlock and Knowledge Domain Cleric, which allows the caster to grab an enemy or object and hurl it 18 meters or 16 feet through the air. Telekinesis obviously has a number of utility and combat related uses, in throwing enemy from heights, inflicting fall damage and making them fall prone, as well as retrieving items that are out of reach or within a dangerous area. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think are the best level 5 spells in BG3. Before you go, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more BG3 related content. And most importantly of all, stay nerdy.